Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. Okay, so this is a pick a card kind of reading. You can pick the Desert Rose, you can pick Aqua Aura, or Galena. Now, whichever one you are immediately drawn to is the one that you want to go with, just because that is your intuition telling you which stack is right for you. So if you need to press pause, which you shouldn't, because you should immediately feel drawn to one, but if you need to, now's the time, and now we'll get started. So those of you who pick Desert Rose, what this crystal does is it helps you with feelings of well-being, understanding. It helps you focus on your own personal values and what makes you unique or special. It increases your feelings of happiness and beauty, helps you to cooperate better, create um, you know, more of a community environment, interdependence, while still being recognized as an individual. So it helps you to be free thinking. It increases your wisdom. It helps you to be more understanding. It encourages healthy communication. Um, this stone is really helpful in increasing the power of affirmations and helps you to attain your goals. Um, this one will help you to see through lies and facades. It helps you to be more in touch with your psychic communication, to understand what your dreams mean, and then kind of remembering those in the morning. It also helps you with your positivity, your willpower. It helps you to feel encouraged, as well as with... Um, you know, moving towards success and abundance. Now, underneath here, what they're saying is, this week we wanna focus on self-care, on how do I nurture myself? So with all of this self-focus, the angel that you will ask to help isn't one in specific. You just um, use this affirmation, calling on them in your mind or out loud, and you say, I'm ready to take the leap. Thank you for doing it with me. Whether that's a leap into self-care or not, I guess we'll see. Um, what they're saying is, you know, you don't have to be in charge of everything this week. Um, this is not a week where anything outside of yourself is super important. Yourself comes first this week, um, nourishing yourself, feeling peace and calm within yourself, and you can use them to help you. Um, but this is not a week of feeling like you need to control everything and everyone around you. Now, for those of you who picked the Aqua Aura, Aqua Aura is helpful in discussing your emotional issues. It helps to purify and cleanse any room that you have it in. Um, it creates harmonious interactions and communications with others. It helps you find your own talents and then use your skills to their highest potential for the highest good. It'll help with your throat chakra because it's a, clue, it's, it's a, um, a blue crystal and it helps encourage sincerity. It helps like kind of cleanse your entire aura. It protects you against psychic and um, psychological attacks, as well as other people's negative intrusions of energy or like negative things that they would say. It helps activate your third eye. It increases your concentration, helps you to be more clear-headed with your thinking. And then also this one helps you develop your clairvoyance as well as your clairaudience. Um, so clairvoyance is like the visions that you might have and clairaudience is like the sound messages that you might receive, whether you get those through song or just like different things that um, you might kind of hear repetitively in your head. So for you this week, you have a challenge and the challenge is moving on from things that um, were a little bit hard to deal with emotionally towards something positive and more calm, taking the lessons you've learned, um, especially, you know, prior to the last full moon which i believe was halloween and um even though it's a mercury retrograde like this is the opportunity where you take those lessons that you've learned and you apply them towards something good this is positive changes occurring for you um but it's very it requires a lot of mental focus and so um you're supposed to focus on unconditional love of the divine mother so like mother earth is kind of a good place for you to be reminded that you know the earth provides for us all of the things that we need and so reminding yourself that you're safe so you could imagine from your root chakra like kind of right where your tailbone is growing that down like roots into the earth and reminding that it can provide you energy and all the things that you need so thank you divine mother and mother earth um, for helping me to give and receive the love that I deserve, reminding yourself that you're safe, that you're moving from a place of chaos um, and being really clear headed about it to like where you're going to be a lot more calm and have more of the tools that you need to stay like emotionally where you're supposed to be. And so this is like love begins. This could be new love with somebody else because of the lessons you've learned in challenging relationships. This could be like, hey, okay, I'm ready 
for love that is going to be awesome for me. Like I'm ready to be in a good, healthy relationship. This could be new love for yourself. This could be a baby coming. Um, it could be anything. It could just be like new passion. But what this is saying is that you've come to a place where you've really sorted your emotions out, or at least we're coming into this place where things are gonna be calm and peaceful, and that um, those calm and peaceful emotions, all the lessons we've learned are going to uh, kind of grow beautiful things from them. You see how those trees are growing and they're like full? Um, this is a new start, a new beginning correlated to the heart chakra. Um, and it's because we have the mental clarity, you know, with this and with this, to get us to this place where we've really applied the lessons that we've learned. Now, um, for those of you who chose Galena, this is one of my favorite, favorite stones. Galena is used to um, support you in huge life changes. It helps bring confidence, pride, success. It increases your imagination, your enthusiasm, gives you more courage. It increases harmony. Um, it counters all ill effects of like electromagnetic pollution. So things like um, being by your computer would be a good place to have it or by your microwave so that you're not sucking in all of those bad ions. Um, it helps you to feel more grounded. It helps anchor you. It helps centers you. It'll detoxify you. Actually, Galena, one of my favorite things that it does is it stimulates hair growth because my hair grows really slow. So I really like that this is not only a protective root chakra stone, but it'll help me grow my hair. So um, if you chose that one, it doesn't mean your hair is fucked. It just means that you know, you're getting support in these changes and changes occur um, through sort of tough sort of situations um, or hard memories in a Mercury retrograde and that's where we're at right now. So basically it's like you don't have to do anything. Really, don't try to force anything. Don't try to do anything this week. They're saying peace and harmony are there for you and you can ask Archangel Raguel. You can just like in your head or out loud be like, hey man, Raguel, yo, I need some help. Um, thank you for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. And he will do that. Um, if you just sit there in the quiet and close your eyes and ask for help, you can sort of envision his light shining over you. Um, and it actually does work. I know it sounds crazy, but it does. And so... The energy that you have here is triumph. And what it's saying is that like, you're going to be successful at all of the things that you want to accomplish and you're gonna do them quickly. Other people are going to look at you and be like, hey, very successful. Hey, you know, it took some time, but you finally got there. All of your efforts, like you planted seeds and now they're starting to pay off. Um, maybe it didn't occur as quick as you wanted it to, but they're going to be bigger and better, more beautiful successes than you even thought possible when you started. So very positive stuff, um, but Galena is kind of the energy that we're encompassing here, saying like, hey, transition is hard and sometimes it's scary. However, um, you know, like, change happens to create good in our lives. So it looks like a good week for all of you. I love you so much. See you next week.